Hello, I'm Matu Jimmer and you're watching Hornbill TV Spray Midnight, now news and details. Founder and Chief Executive of Renow Black MP Living Powder, Mel Gill visited the Mapper today from America to promote his product Black Living Powder to one of the conference in Niatu Resort, Chumukidima. Gill said that his product has changed many lives all over the world and he is expecting to the same in India. He also said that the product has no side effects and can be drank by all age groups. Very first time in Nagaland, and uh, I'm surprised and excited to be here, but uh, it's my pleasure. I'm super excited to be here. It's a new journey. It's a new place. Uh, can't wait to show all the pictures to the family. It's amazing. Uh, so what is your purpose to, uh, you know, coming in India? Absolutely. We're on a mission right now. We are actually starting the launch of something that uh, India has not seen in Nagaland, definitely, you know, that this area has never experienced, and that is the ability to have something unique that's going to impact uh, people's health throughout India, throughout Nagaland. It's absolutely, absolutely amazing. Something natural, something special. So, uh, Mr. Gil, there are lots of, uh, you know, states in India. So why only Nagaland? Not only Nagaland. So we're going to 11 cities in India, right? Nagaland is just one of the premier cities because we have great leadership here. The leadership meaning the people that have already started promoting our brand. And our brand represents optimal health. We're bringing the number one health beverage from the United States into India. No competition, very, very unique. And the Nagaland leadership has already taken the lead to show the results, the testimonials, the amazing impact that the product is doing. Would you like to say something on your product to the viewers since they might not know what it is about? Absolutely. So here's what happens is, is that uh, the color is black. However, it's all natural, no food coloring, right? What's in the glass of water, it's a living water. See, most of the water out there is not living water. What I mean by living, it has what your body cannot survive without. Your body cannot survive without minerals. That's a fact, anybody will tell you that. Without minerals, you cannot survive, your body cannot survive, right? Even vitamins you take, they're not absorbed without minerals. So we have 77 plus trace minerals. And then we have from Mother Earth something called fulvic acid, humic acid, and that's what makes the color black. The beautiful thing is that we also have probiotics. Many people know what probiotics are. These are not man-made synthetic probiotics. They're natural, real, incredible, high-quality, soil-based probiotics. We have more electrolytes than the number one billion-dollar sports drink in the world. More electrolytes than that drink, right? And then it's a high pH and it's an alkaline water. So it's all the good, none of the bad. No artificial ingredients, nothing bad, all natural. And uh, it's from Mother Earth. But what's happening is, it's giving your body what your body's missing. And when your body gets what it's missing, amazing results happen. I'm sure the viewers want to know this. Is this, uh, is this black water, um, you know, can cure cancers or like very critical, uh, very, very, very good question. Very good question. So the first place that we brought the product to outside of the United States was the Philippines. And they've had amazing results. They've had the product for more than a year. Amazing, amazing results uh, that are kind of outrageous. But we want to be very, very careful because this is not a medicine. This is a health supplement mineral that your body is missing. That's it. Okay. How everybody's results are different because your body's different than the next person. So we never make any claims. So we don't say it cures this or cures that or anything like that. We just say, try it. And it's like taking a shower from the inside of your body. Try it. And if you get a great result, you get a great result. All I can say is now thousands of people in the first couple of countries that we've opened up have thousands of results. And now we're bringing it to India and Nagaland. Same thing's going to happen. Watch. Over the next six months, you're going to have testimonial after testimonial, amazing results. But we do not make any health claims. Uh, we don't treat, prevent, or cure any diseases. That's not how we work. It's all natural, and we're just giving you something good, something great. In regard to my UDI, of, uh, of course, I used to be on the uh, I used to be on antibiotics most of the time, but with it works. But with time, it comes back. So when the infection reoccurs, I take antibiotics again. So that was the usual cycle before I was introduced to Blake and believing what. Kini ka ito product ito laka product di use kuriya na not only me my whole family na sab manu ito loyga na bal. It has more electrolytes than the number one sports drink in the world. More electrolytes than the number one sports drink in the world, and then it has a very healthy pH. It's an alkaline water. Right. So you have all of that with no taste, no smell, and it's good for you. 
and the testimonials are outrageous. Company la CEO Mel Gillo te kuta kurishi aro tai tela product la kuta han kurishi. Tai aji yade niathi resort te tevra tela company la idu product idu Black Living Water la allop tai kuta han kurishi ekta conference te aro tevra kurishi ki idu dawai to sickness to bhal nukure hushuk lebe apni la body bitore jagi na immune system kan thik kure apni la brain kan attentive rakhe aro apni ki hoda energize rakhe guna tevra kurishi. Aro idu to idu Black Living Water to bishi bhala se koi na. Mohana program de, abne hamhi dikhan dishna jate testimonial khan dishi tahan bata tahan jor testimony share kuri shi aro tahan kini ga idu black living water bata tahan la life to health to kina bhal kuri shi tahan bata kuri shi aro idu idu company idu nagaland de ita aha to khali six months ikla hoyshi kuri shi aro six months hoyshi kuri shi aro aste se tahan store khan bhi khulura shi na koise business to growth khulura shi aro khali nagaland de ikla noi na India de six cities de tahan jai na idu tahan la Black Living Water atau produk handu, semua jaga deh tahan pikir kuru, na tahan lah itu bahu na itu share kuri sih. Itu tak kisah jelah ground report, mesti pangkas gerung with kamera persen kita for on bill TV. Indian Army show cast capability of the Lunting craft assault deployed in Hong Kong Lake by the force along the LSU with China to Defense Minister Rajnath Singh today. The boats can carry 35 combat troops at a time and can reach any area of the lake in a very short time. Seventeen more pigs died and thirteen were culled on Tuesday as Mizoram state continues to battle with the African swine fever outbreak. However, Animal Husbandry and Veterinary Department Joint Director Livestock Held Lal Ming Thanga said that the number of piggery deaths infected by African swine fever outbreak has significantly declined over the last few days in Mizoram. Yet the situation is not predictable as the outbreak could surge at any time because almost the entire state has been affected by air. Over 43,400 pigs and piglets have died in the outbreak of ASF since it was first reported in the state in March last year. About 20,000 pigs have so far been culled to prevent the further spread of the virus. The outbreak has affected 138 villages and localities across 10 districts and over 70 villages are suspected to be affected by ASF, the department said. Defence Minister Rajnath Singh has handed over the FINSAS system to the Indian Army. Rajnath Singh handed over the FINSAS system to the Indian Army in presence of Army Chief General Manoj Pandey and Lieutenant General Harpal Singh. FINSAS means Futuristic Infantry Soldier as a system according to updates. The FINSAS soldiers have been provided with the AK-203 assault rifles planned to be manufactured in Amethi in a joint venture between Indian and Russian entities. An Indian Army futuristic infantry soldier as a system of FINSAS soldier gave a briefing to Defence Minister Rajnath Singh on his new weapon systems and aids including the AK-203 assault rifle. Torrential rain and thunderstorms hammering Britain have seen streets turn to rivers and a huge mudslide block a country road with another two inches of rain on the way in three hours today as the heat wave ends with a bang. 358 in Somerset was closed at Kong Flore after the mudslide last night which saw workers remove more than 50 tonne of mud and potatoes. And it was still shut this afternoon due to the amount of debris. Diversions were put in place and council workers joked they were working hard to ensure no chips on drivers' windscreens. 
Families braced themselves for traffic chaos and power cuts as forecasters warned of dangerous flash floods, while authorities told people to prepare an emergency bag of vital belongings in case their homes are damaged. But while the heat wave has now technically ended after eight days today, it remains very warm in much of the UK with high of 27 degrees Celsius expected this afternoon before 25 degrees Celsius tomorrow and Thursday and 24 degrees Celsius on Friday. Dramatic videos showed fast-flowing flood water cascading down steep roads and deluging junctions in Devon and Cornwall, while Londoners hid under trees, blankets and been lit to avoid sudden bouts of torrential rain. The whole of England and Wales has been put under thunderstorm warning from today with a separate rain alert in place for Scotland. There is also a further thunderstorm warning covering all of the southern England tomorrow. The MET office says some places will stay dry today but others will see thunderstorms with torrential rains and flooding could happen quickly with damage to buildings from water, lightning strikes, hail or strong winds. Forecasters said fast flowing or deep flood water is possible causing a danger to life and that the conditions could cause delay to trains and along with difficult driving conditions as well as some road closures. Speed restrictions were imposed on some rail routes in Scotland today due to heavy rain, with train services affected between Glasgow and Inverness, Perth, Dundee and Aberdeen. Flooding was also seen near Perth. The MET officials said thunderstorms in the areas of heavy rain will develop quite widely across much of England and Wales throughout today. And the extent of these thunderstorms will be more widespread than yesterday. The stormy weather comes after weeks of soaring temperatures with at least 30 degrees Celsius recorded for eight days in a row up to and including yesterday and an unprecedented 40.3 degrees Celsius last month. The official heat wave threshold varies around the country, but for London, it is three consecutive days of 28 degrees Celsius or 82 degree Fahrenheit temperatures. Meanwhile, experts warn that the drought is far from over as the country needs weeks of rainfall to replenish supplies. It comes after the country's driest July on record and the driest first half of the year since 1976. As the tension increased in Madhya Pradesh amid the dam breach in Dhar, a few porcelain machine operators took the responsibility of saving the village by diverting the flow of water through the machines on August 15. The machine operators coordinated together and went to the spot amid the huge flow of water to divert the flow. Speaking on the matter, one of the machine operators said that it was their responsibility to save the village despite the risk. President Dropati Mumu on Tuesday expressed grief over the death of six Indo-Tibetan border police personnel who died after a bus carrying them fell into a riverbed in Balka. The tragic loss of precious lives of ITBP personnel in the unfortunate accident at Ant Nak, Jammu and Kashmir fills her with sadness, the Rashtrapati Bhavan tweeted, expressing heartfelt condolences for the bereaved families. She said to be praying for speedy recovery of the injured, the Rashtrapati Bhavan tweeted. 33 personnel sustained injuries in the accident that took place when a civilian bus carrying 37 ITBP personnel and two Jammu and Kashmir police was on its way to Bahal Gam from Chandarwari when it rolled down into the deep gorge. Reportedly after it breaks, malfunctioned, a senior ITBP official said. Fishermen protest in Tiravanantapuram, Kerala against ongoing Adani port project in Vizinga. They are demanding rehabilitation and permanent solution for sea erosion. They allege that hundreds of acres of coastal land were destroyed when the construction work started.
To revive football in the state of Sikkim, especially following the two years of pandemic, the Sikkim Football Association and Sikkim Sports Department will be holding the All Sikkim Chief Minister's Football Tournament 2022 League, which will begin from August 29. It is informed that rupees 50 lakh has been provided by the Chief Minister in that regard. It was informed in the press. Press are conducted today that a total of 125 matches will be played in a one and a half month long tournament, which covers all the block administrative centers, subdivisions, and districts. The aim behind organizing this mega league tourney is to provide platform to football, especially those in the remote corners of the state. The department government of Sikkim is going to organize all chip, Sikkim chief ministers. League 2022 from the 29th of uh, August uh, 2022. This, in fact, is a C Division League, uh, which will be played from the block development uh, level and gradually coming to the district as well as in the uh, state level. We, we will be having uh, about 135 teams participating in this in a league form. That means this is going to be a quite a lengthy affair. Uh, it may take about uh, 45 days uh, to uh, complete this uh, task. And on the basis of their uh, gradual graduation from the block level to the district level and finally in the state level, uh, we will ultimately be promoting the winners uh, for the SFA second division league to be played next year. That's all we have for now. Keep watching Hornbill TV.